welcome to another Cavco Maker tutorial. So this is the screen that greets you to open a new project. You come here to new model, select that, then select the geometry of your workpiece. And in my case, it's and as you can see, I'm working in millimeters. So it's actually 255 in X and 110 in Y or in width. This is indicating the orientation of the work or the the, the start of the job, the, what's commonly known as the G54. You can place that in any corner that you, you wish to start a job or the center. But normally with a CNC router, it is this front left hand corner here. Uh, as a rule, I always have maximum resolution. Uh, it just works better for me that way. Uh, I'm working in millimeters, so we press OK and go to the opening screen. Now, you can either work in the 3D window, which this is, or you can, if you prefer, you can work in the 2D window. So to help me with the geometry of this, I'm coming up here to view and I'm going to turn the rulers on. So there you are, you can you can turn the, the rulers on and off to suit uh, what it what you want to do. Now I have let me just zoom out a bit. Uh, I have two the fixturing I am using, I have two screws, one here, one here. Um, and the material that I have, the, the off-cut of material to make this sign is actually to size. So, you know, you have to be able to clamp it somehow. So what I'm going to do is just get the circle making tool. And I'm going to come here. Um, so I'm going to position about approximately the 15 millimeter mark there. And I want to come down to uh, 55, which is approximately there. Um, and this is just really an indication to say, well, you know, you don't want to come anywhere here. And it's say six millimeter head. And create so then I want to make another one here so this is areas that I want to avoid with my tool because there is a screw here and here so the first thing I want to do is I want to put I want to make a decorative edge so I'm going to choose the rectangle tool. I'm going to come here right to this corner. Uh, and I'm going to draw a square the whole size of my piece of work. And I am going to put a corner radius on here of, should we say 12, 12 millimeters, which is a approximately half an inch but I want to invert it so I want nice little decorative corners so we're going to create that now I'm going to my vector offset tool so I'm going to choose that and I'm going to offset this shape inwards so it's already set on inwards and I'm going to offset it, uh, let me see, about, actually 8mm is probably about right. 
radius corners, uh, sharp corners, I think. I'm going to be doing this with a V bit. Okay, and um, offset. That looks quite nice. I'm going to be doing a number of tool paths with this. I'm going to be V cutting this around. Oh, might come in, I might hit that head. So I think we're going to reverse that. And I'm going to say probably six millimeter. That's why I put those holes there to indicate to me there's there's a screw head. So I'm going to come six millimeters sharp. Uh, actually, I might go around it. Uh, offset. That looks a little better. That gives me <laughs> a little bit of a little bit of room there. Um, yeah, okay, I'm going to be happy with that. That looks okay to me. So I'm, I, there's actually three operations here uh, with two tools. I'm going to be running around here on the outside of this with a six millimeter uh, end mill. Uh, to make this uh, shape and then I'm going to be running around this with a 90 degree V-bit carving tool and I'm also going to be V-bit carving this groove here. Just give it a little bit of decoration. So we're going to come out of that the next thing we're going to do is put our lettering in the middle here. So we come to our text tool. So I've chosen this gothic type of font uh, because the name that's going on here is for my new CNC router which I'm naming Hermione. So if anybody recognises that name, it's the uh, young lady out of the Harry Potter movies. So, um, I should just choose an area about here. 150 points should be okay. Capital H. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's going to fit. Let's um, let's try. So let's maneuver this around a little. Oh, that's going to be very, very close to my fixing areas. So I might have to squeeze that up a little. Which is okay. So we can we can squeeze that up just a little bit so we get away from those screws and it's pretty well in the middle there. I quite like that. That's quite nice. I think that's fine. Simple but gothic. So we can go to the tool paths now. I don't know where to put something in this open area here. No, I think that'll be okay actually. So let's go to tool paths. We'll start with the V-bit carving, I think, and end with a profile. So what we're going to do is, I think, we'll choose the lettering first. 
So it's selected vectors, stat depth zero. I always use the top of the material as my zero point. Um, no, I don't think so. I'm going to say maximum depth of three millimeters. Because then, if it, using the V-bit carving tool, that means it's going to be six millimeters wide. Um, I think that's fine. So I'm limiting the tool depth there. So let's uh, let's select the tool in the tool in list. Um, Conicals, and it almost. Here we go. Wood, wooden plastic, and here it is. Here, and it's a ninety degree, nineteen millimeter. In my case, so I'm going to select that, and now. Let's alter a few things here. Step over. I'll leave that at that. Step down. Yeah, I'm fine with that too. So that's going to do it in two cuts. I'm okay with that. So it, it'll be like a, a rough in pass first of all. Then it'll come in and automatically do a sort of finishing cut. That might be a little slow. So we're going to ramp that up to about 25 millimeters per second. But I can run that at uh, a quite a bit of percentage lower than that if I want plunge rate for I'll put that up to, to uh, six. That's fine. The spindle speed is uh, not governed by the program. I, I do that myself. Now, we're going to get Cavco to find out what the maximum depth and width of the cut is going to be. Oh, we've got to go to the vector doctor because there is some problem with the vectors. Okay. Okay, so Kafka is automatically checking the font here and it's indicating to me that look there's a problem and it won't be able to machine it, won't be able to draw the paths to machine it properly anyway. So we'll we'll say okay. Now we'll come up here to the vector doctor, which brings up this dialog box, and we just want it to identify the problem. And there it is there in red. So I shall zoom into that. And there it is there. It's a sort of a cross section line. So what we're going to do is we're gonna we're gonna get rid of this. So uh, so I actually I think we can just maneuver this. So if we just catch out of this node and move it here, and this node and move it here and we'll undo this twist hopefully and make it a so I'm going to put another node here to be able to get this And that should sort the problem out. Uh, straighten that up a bit too. Okay. So we didn't have to cut anything out. We just straightened it out slightly. So let's, let's come out of this. And then see 
if it likes that. Oh, no vectors. Huh. So we'll uh, select these vectors again and there you go. Problem solved. Uh, maximum width is 8 millimeters. I would say that's in here. That would be 8 millimeters or so across there, I think. Um, maximum depth of 4.4 millimeters. 4.5 millimeters, oh, that's okay. Um, I don't want to sort of gauge it right out. I think that would be quite a nice sign. So let's move on down. No, we don't have a roughing tool because it's a V-bit carving. No, I'm not really interested in any particular sequence. I'm just going to let Cavco just do it. 10 millimeter home position, which is fine. Let's define the material. It's actually 20 millimeter oak. 20 millimeter of oak. Zeros at the top. I'm going to press OK. And calculate now. So that looks as though it's going to be nice and clean. It's quite a number of uh, tool paths there. So it's going to clean it out quite nicely, I believe. Okay, so unselect that. So then the next one we will select is this. Okay, so this next one, I just want to do a groove. It's not a V-bit carving, it's a groove. So, come here. So, it's a profile cut. Uh, we want to go along. Okay, so we're going to follow this line along. That's going to be our center point of our cut. Uh, so it's a long start for finish. Finish depth, I want this to be um, three millimeters. So that gives me a, a six millimeter groove, quarter of an inch groove all the way around. I might be a little bit much actually. Uh, I might just go two millimeters, uh, four millimeter groove. That's about three sixteenths of an inch. Uh, I think that'll be a little bit better, a little bit more delicate for Hermione. Um, I'm not worried about lead-in moves. It's only a, a little tiny bit of a cut. I'm not worried about that or that or that. Everything is just a simple cut. So. Um, so I'm just going to say cut two, and it's with the same tool. So I'm going to calculate. Oh, no tool selected. Oh, look at that. So we will select a tool. It's going to be the same one. So it's all the way down here. That one. Select, select, and we we will modify this. Um, well, it's not going to be any step over, but I put a figure in here. Step down. It's, that means it's going to do it in one pass. Twenty-five, but I'll probably run it a little slower. Uh, it depends on how it's cutting it. Uh, sometimes I actually run V-bit carvings and, and a V-bit cut, uh, you know, sort of twice to, to sort of clean, clean it up. And I might even set the zero slightly lower, a quarter of a millimetre or something, just to, you know, give it a bit of a clean up cut. So I'll make that six. Uh, nothing to alter here. Cut two. 
calculate. Okay, so that's that one. Now we're going to select this one. Um, I don't think I, I think I'm just going to run the. Um, I'm going to run a 6 mil cutter around the outside of that. I'm not going to chamfer that at all, actually. I think it'll be a nice contrast. Because this is going to have a V-bit curve or a V-bit groove there. I think just a straight edge. So, tool pads. So I'm going to go the outside. Which is right outside. Um, sharp corners. I'm going to go the full depth. I'm going to go 20 millimeters. Uh, this time it's a six millimeter end mill. And we will step over, well it's not actually going to step over, but we'll 0 0.1 step down. Uh, two, look I like going about 2 millimeters. it'll probably go, let's, let's go 3, 3 millimeters. It just leaves a nice clean edge, 25. Six millimeter plunge. That's okay. Uh, this time, uh, climb milling. That's I normally always use climb milling. Uh, we're we're going to use ramp moves for this one. I just don't like digging an end mill straight in. <laughs> Although it's not going to be cutting too much, uh, it probably would be okay. Um, but we'll go ten millimeter angle. Uh, minimum uh, ramp length. 10 millimeter, yeah, maximum. Yep, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, this is going to start one millimeter above the material, that's fine. Uh, not worried about bridges. So, okay, so everything looks pretty good. So we'll run a simulation on this, so we'll go into the 3D window. Take it to an isometric view. And then we will we'll do this fast. And we're going to simulate. Uh, let's simulate them all. So we'll simulate them all rather than just. Oh, there we go. Um, that's actually. Um, let's. That looks like aluminium at the moment. Let's change that to something more appropriate. Um, let see, what have we got here? Uh, beach. Bronze. Actually, I normally like to put things into bronze. That looks really nice. But of course we're dealing with wood, so... Um, beach, maybe? There we go. Actually, that looks very much like um, the material that I'm going to be making it in, and that's Tasmanian oak. That that looks okay, actually. That looks really, really nice. Um, some other things we can do here: depth of color, ply, which sort of brings out the tone of um, you know what you're actually going to do
that looks pretty good actually and you can you know you can turn off these on and off these different settings that's very nice okay so I'm going to save those tool pairs now to a flash drive uh, which is very easily done let's put that into there and now to save you just come here I'll just save one over so uh, you know it's so we can put them all over on this side um, so we'll save this one uh, in G and it is the the name oh and it's a V bit um, the particular code that I'm saving in is for my SMC5 controller which is a G code millimeter tap and save so I'll save the others over now and uh, we'll go to the machine and we'll cut this uh, I'm depending on the length of this uh, tutorial uh, I may have to split it into two videos so uh, if I do thank you for joining me and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and if you'd like to become a patron of the channel patron information is below this video and also below this video there is a 5% discount code right across the board whatever you decide to do with any of the programs of Cavco so thank you for joining me and it's uh, bye for now.